I'm back. Yay. Well, mostly anyway. Thank you guys so much for praying for me. And <clears throat> after going through a heart attack and then getting the flu as soon as I got home, that was a brutal experience. Um, I am I'm on the mend. Um, I do have some doctor's appointments coming up. They want to make sure that uh, the stent they put in my heart and everything is doing fine, which it is. I don't have any bruising or anything. Uh, I am still a little bit tired. I, you know, I don't, I don't really know why that is. Maybe because it was such a, a traumatic thing for my body. I've never been through anything like that. But um, overall, I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm just trying to pace myself. <clears throat> and I do still have this cold, but the fever is gone. And um, I was able to get out of the bed and I cleaned my bathroom. <laughs> I took my hair out. Yay, look, see, I salvaged my strands. Because I tell you, when I had that fever, I was sweating and coughing and hacking. And I still have congestion uh, in my head and in my chest, but <clears throat> it's not debilitating. You know how your nose is clogged up, but it's still running? Oh, my God, miserable. Anyway, so that went from my head to my chest. So now I, you know, I still have some congestion and all that, but I'm doing okay. But I wanted to jump on here real quick. To tell you guys, thank you so much for, for praying for me. I really appreciate people when they pray for me. I really do. I believe in the power of prayer. So thank you for that. And I wanted to show you my hair. You know something that I'm finding out? Because you know I'm only a year into this. And I'm only um, on the 12th. It'll be one month that I did my, my big chop. And uh, I'm finding that when I do my hair... When I take it out, I never know what it's going to look like. Is that normal? You, you veteran people out there, let me know, is that normal? Because it seems like it's never going to really be the same every time I take it out. I don't know if that has anything to do with the product I used or what. But I told you guys when I was flat on my back in the bed that what I had done was I flat twisted the front, right? I just took from... Excuse me for sniffing. <clears throat> I took like, I parted from ear to ear, and I, I did um, two strand twist up to about here, and then here all the way in, I just did flat twist this way, and then in the back I did two strand twist, several of them. Uh, I don't know, twenty. <laughs> um. <clears throat> anyway, I took it out this morning. What I am finding is this this patch of gray right here. Um, I don't know if I need to uh, maybe use gel on it or something. I don't know. Do any of you have uh, patches or sections of your hair that's hard to curl or define or whatever? I had pretty good definition, you know, with... Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got pretty good definition. The gray hair, gray hair is coarser. Um, than regular hair. I don't know why that is. I know there's some scientific reason, but I'm not a scientist, so I don't know why that is. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, I might have to, when I do the front, I might have to use um, some kind of gel a little bit more. I think I've used gel maybe one time, and it, it, it all came out pretty defined. But for the most part, I don't have to use gel. It seems like my hair just responds if, it, if it's wet or damp and I put um, a leave-in or an oil and then a leave-in or however I do it, you know, and it, it just, it defines. So I've seen people with their hair more defined. I don't know how they get it like that. It may have something to do with their texture. It might have something to do with their length. I'm not sure. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, um, <laughs> after the trauma, <laughs> this is what I got. So <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't, uh, I had been spritzing it. I told you I, I spritzed it and, uh, you know, damaged it a little bit and put some almond oil on my hands and rubbed it into my hair and tried to keep it moisturized um, that day until I could 
get off my back and get something done with it. And the only thing I did with it today was just take it out. So um, my wash day is coming up. I try to wash every Thursday. So, and I'm also finding, you know, I'm getting ready to pack up and leave and go back to Canada. And that's a whole nother thing, taking care of your hair while you're on road trips. So I did a um, video about that a long while back when I first started uh, transitioning. But now that I've big chopped and all I have is natural hair, um, some of the products that I had then, yeah, they don't work now. <laughs> they just don't work. So I'll have to uh, come up with a different way of doing things. But anyway, thank you for hanging in there with me. I hope to bring you another video real soon. And let me know what you think of this. It looks different from the last time, doesn't it? Just from flat twisting it. But look at this one piece. See that? I don't know what's up with that. I have no idea. But probably if I dampen it and put some gel on it and twist it, then it'll probably be okay. But for the rest of it, looks pretty coily. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm okay with it, I think. I'm still getting used to this look, you know, because it's different. But anyway, I don't not like it. I'm just not used to it. It's only been like three weeks, so there you go. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for coming by. Let me know what you think of this. And um, I'll see you next time. And let me know if you if there's something, if you have any questions um, or something you want me to cover in my video, I'll be happy to answer your questions if I can. Okay? All right. Love you. See you, guys. See you later. Bye.